I want to talk about AEW. Let's do it. Uh, because this is coming out over the last over the last couple of months. We we have been, uh, or at least I, I don't want to speak for Rich, but I've been mm-hmm. adamant that they're going to turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was told that it was between two networks, and this is coming from someone in the TV business. And through process of elimination, you could kind of figure out that it was going to be a Turner property. The worst case was I don't know where True TV came from because mm-hmm. I had never heard any kind of information about it being on True TV. Mm-hmm. But the uh, currently Warner Media Group, which is Turner at this point, right? They have to do upfronts in May right. for their fall lineup, and this is what I've been talking about for for months now. We've we've said this a lot of times. You're not going to get the announcement before Turner does their upfronts for their sponsors. Mm-hmm. Can I cut you off for yes, a second? Yes, go ahead. Can you tell the audience, not everybody's going to know what an upfront is. Just explain to them what an upfront is. So networks pitch their shows and they show their lineup to entice the advertisers. That essentially, I mean, to kind of dumb it down to the easiest way of understanding. Right. It's to better understand, you know, to kind of present like, hey, listen, this is what we're going to be doing in, in like 90 days, 60 days. Mm-hmm. This is our plan. We are trying to now entice Advertise. Turner's been heavily getting involved in sports because sports rights fees and sports uh, sponsorships are tremendous right now. Everybody wants a sports brand on their channel. Right. Uh, they've done a uh, Turner, obviously, with AAF falling apart. Now they have another opening. They have the NBA, which does mm. six, tremendous numbers for them. Oh, yeah. And they've been doing some U, uh, MMA stuff. And now they're looking into getting into the professional wrestling business once again. This is a very different Turner also. I've heard this over and over again. Mm-hmm. People saying, uh, well, this is the company that killed WCW. No, it's not. Right. It, is, it is Jamie Kellner's not there. Brad Siegel. Mm-hmm. These, this is a – in 20 years, <laughs> 1998, 1999 was essential. 1999 was the, it was the end of WCW when that merger was going through. Uh, this is a very different company. I got a question for you. Yes, go ahead. Do do you think do you think wrestling fans like the like that internet trolls? Oh, <laughs> he did it again. <laughs> do you think those trolls uh, know how business works? No, no, <laughs> I, I don't think they're trolling though. I really okay. don't think they know how business works. They think it's like the same company. It, it mm. CEOs change, positions change, VPs change every year. I mean, mm. yeah, totally different company. So. Uh, Warner Media Group is has their upfronts on May fifteenth, so expect that AEW will be announced on May fifteenth, and it looks like it's going to be on TBS on Tuesday nights because the schedule, by the way, is open on Tuesday nights mm-hmm. for MB- uh, They don't have NBA. TNT has NBA. Right. So if it goes on TBS, it'll be from eight to ten p.m. live every week. That'd be cool with that. Now. There is another partner. I do believe they are going to do stuff with TNT occasionally. And the big question is, who are the streaming content uh, partners for AEW? Mm -hmm. What are they going to do for archive footage? Are you going to be able to get it on Hulu? Are you going to be able to get it online? Mm -hmm. These are questions that we don't know yet. And we probably will know around the time of Double or Nothing because we don't even know where it's going to air. Right. Is it on pay-per-view? Is it on Fight TV? Is Mm -hmm. it on, you know, all these things? These are this. That's the next step here. But this AEW deal with Turner is exactly what they needed. 